Hi and welcome to my third video tutorial. This one is going to be on how to make a boxing ring. It's also a, um, a really good learner for anyone who wants to learn about hooks, curves, and um, just general model modeling and a bit of animation at the end. So sort of throw all those things together. Um, so we're going to be using our default cube today. So we'll just zoom in on that and we will scale it by the z-axis until it's like a little platform thing um, then we're going to go to top view and space add mesh cylinder and press ok and just accept the defaults and scale that down to a post thickness I think scale it about there and you want to go to side view and move it up out of the ground and then press tab and move this till it's about the right height you want for your posts then you want to move it to the side of the ring and to the side of the ring awesome and then we're going to go to top view and we will just move that a little more and we can press shift D to duplicate it and then press Y to constrain it across the Y axis. Then shift that one. Then shift D. And press X to constrain it across the X axis. I uh, will drop it about there. That looks good. Um, now what we're going to do is add our ring. So press shift C to center the mouse again, if yours has gone off like mine did, then space, add, curve, bezier, curve, then press V to straighten it, and press Z so we can see it, um, because it's underneath the floor at the moment, then what you need to do is grab the points and just chuck them in the middle of these dots, right, so, and then press E to extrude it, to move it to the next one, and again and then press C to close the curve then what we want to do is we want to split these so press select the both of them press W and click subdivide we'll do that for all four sides that we have a point in the middle subdivide subdivide um, now if you're real good with curves, there's certain things you can do to make them really work well here, but um, I don't have time to explain all that stuff, so maybe in a later tutorial. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to make the thickness for them, because if you were to render now, you wouldn't see that rope at all, not just because it's underneath it, but also because you can't see curves. So what we do is we go to top view, space, add, curve, busy a circle and scale it down to the size you thickness you want your ropes to be mine will be quite thin that looks good enough then press N while in edit mode and change the name of it to something you'll remember so mine's going to be rope um, capital is really important in this as well if you have a capital somewhere in there you got to make sure you put the capital when you enter it anywhere else because that's yeah that's name so then select the curve and under bevel object in edit mode you want to um, type in that name that you gave it so mine was rope and see how it thickened that up and so now it's a nice thick rope then what we need to do is go side view by pressing numpad 1 and we'll find it somewhere and um, just move it up to where you want the first ring to be as we're all in mind um, then you need to go into top view again press tab and select the side ones like the ones on the side and press um, control H and add new empty and do that for all of them. Now what this does is it, add a, it adds a hook and what a hook is, it's, it's effectively another object that controls a vertice within this object. 
so um, at the moment we just added an empty to control the hook but you can use a secondary object for that as well if you wanted so see if I grab this um, empty and move it around see you notice how the rope goes with it and that's like the way that you animate these B2 just boing boing like that see cool so now that we've got that done we will just grab the rope and all the control points and then we'll go to side view and press shift D then Z and then we'll move it up to the top one there then shift D and Z again and move it to the middle and voila we have our boxing ring if we were to render this this is what it would look like pretty fine specimen of a boxing ring really um, then what you want to do is you want to grab uh, say for example if we wanted to animate this because that's the uh, next part of a boxing match obviously so we'll add a cube scale it down then go to side view and scale it by the z-axis and grab it and move it up to about there then we want to press I low group scale um, I'm just going to open up the timeline um, just it's it's one of the better ways you can do it you can also press control right a few times if you press it control right once then you go to this editing scene which is probably the bit way to do that um yeah so then we're going to go to frame 60 and we're going to move him our square boxer guy move him to there so he should be bounding the, the ropes back and then press i low group scale um, then what we need to do is we need to select the empties on that side so if we just select them sorry it's taking so long but my computer sort of goes a bit slow when I'm recording at the same time as doing anything else um, so yeah so we we'll select them all and we'll go to frame 1 and press I low group scale just so it remembers where they're supposed to be and then we'll click the play button and play it through until we see the box starting to hit the ropes which is about there uh, one or two steps or you can just press the um, like on the arrow keys just press right until it's just touching it then press I low group scale again and then move it through to 60 where it said it's max stretch then we'll grab it and press X so it only moves across the X axis then move it out to so it looks like that and press I loop root scale so now if we go back and play that it should look like it's springing off and you can do whatever you want you can even move each of the ropes individually instead of the whole lot of them at once but that's how you do that cool thanks for watching um, I am hamster hill um, if you want to leave me a comment or ask for request a tutorial you have some ideas or something like that then um, go check me out on YouTube um, uh, my account is Hamster Hill. You I'm sure you better search for that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.